I feel bad for this new generation because they've been infected with this skibbity toilet virus and I think it might have spread to me. Skibbity bop 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 yes yes. But I also feel bad because there are a bunch of joys that this new generation will never get to experience. Like watching actually good TV shows, watching actually good YouTubers, and reading some legendary books. Everything was perfect back in the day. I just can't believe that the new generation are gonna grow up being nostalgic to this. Last Christmas I gave you my gats for the very next day in your phantom one of the greatest things that these new kids will never experience is the greatness of board games. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the greatest board games of all time. Let's start with the obvious, Monopoly. Monopoly is like the Michael Jordan of board games. The GOAT. Now I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I've never finished a game of Monopoly, but that doesn't stop it from being the GOAT. Where's the all your money gone, Daddy? The created from playing Monopoly are the yes, best. Yes. Watching your friend pick up the chance card, and then it says that you accidentally killed the whole class of preschool kids, and then you gotta go to jail, and then everyone else be laughing like, <laughs> And then you're like, how did they know? I thought no one noticed. Whenever me and the fam played Monopoly, I always chose to be the banker. Because if I was ever low on money, I would just pass myself a quick $500 bill. Never got caught. You got busted! You want your poor love to be a fat loser? Monopoly is just a fun game. There's no pressure. I'm not feeling the pressure, no. Because it's basically impossible to lose right away. And the game also has like no skill involved. So anybody can win. So we can avoid them tryhards. By the way, if you're tryharding a board game, what are you doing with your life? Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? I know you know what this is because you're trying hard in a board game. It's just like Peter Griffin said. You stupid nigga! That's just one of the reasons why Monopoly is the goat of board games. It's impossible to try hard it. I think in general for board games, if a game is try hardable, it just ends up being bad. And a perfect example of this is the game Scrabble. Now let me ask you a question. When have you ever had fun playing Scrabble? I already know what answer you got. Never. And if you actually have, you was probably on drugs. I'm calling the police. You could just be playing the most innocent game of Scrabble. And then that one time her friend pulls out the most nerdy ass word in existence. Like oxyfenbutazone. If you got a friend that pulls out a word like that, knock his bitch ass out. He don't deserve to Maybe I just hate Scrabble because I'm trash. My brain doesn't really function normally. It's actually kind of concerning. But let's talk about another game. Not really a board game, but Jenga. Jenga is one of those games that you were either really good at or really bad at. Me personally, I was really bad. I was dropping towers so much, it felt like 9 11. No, no, please don't, please don't, please don't. Although I was really bad at Jenga, I like it. And you might be like, didn't you just say that you hated skill-based games? Boring ones. Yes, but Jenga is anything but boring. Every time I'd be pulling out a block, my heart's always racing, cheeks quivering, knees weak, arms heavy, mom's, mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. But the adrenaline that you get from playing Jenga is probably unmatched to every other board game. Jenga is an exciting board game. I'm gonna speed run over a few board games real quick because I just want to mention them. Game of Life. Spinning that spinner is probably the only fun thing about the Game of Life. The rest of the game is dead ass boring as hell. Sorry. Sorry is a legendary game. In and of itself, it's really stale, but every time you get to knock over your opponent's piece, that feeling is better than orgasm. Risk. I think Risk is really overrated. It's like Monopoly because it takes years to finish, but it ain't really even all that, so there's no point. Battleship. Battleship is a really good way to pass a few minutes of time. The games are quite short and pretty exciting. Battleship gets my approval. But the final game I'm going to talk about is chess. Chess has been around for centuries, originally being played to decide who would be the king of a country. But now it's mostly known for- You guessed it. The rook! The knight! The bishop! Chess is a game of pure skill, with the people of the greatest skill competing at the very top level. I personally believe that I should be competing at the same level, not gonna lie. But I might have to beat Mr. Beast first. Oh fuck off. Ah, oh, whatever. Tell them Grandmasters to challenge me at Mickey Mouse chess. I'm gonna show them who the real Grandmaster is. I think I've officially lost it now. Anyways, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And suck my meat.